when your revenues increase or decrease, it's based on one of two things, people or process. It's, even if it's sales, your sales process could be broken or the people could be broken. When your technology is right, your processes are right. And the only thing left to look at is the people. And you can train them and you can educate them, you can replace them. But unless you look at yourself first as the person in the company who's the leader, the owner, the, the uh, decision maker, and you've, you've made sure that all your, pro your systems are your technology are right and your processes are right, you'll have increased productivity because of better workflows, more efficiency, and that ultimately gives you more capacity to be more um, to be more productive, to deliver, to deliver on, on promises to clients, to increase sales, to focus on marketing. If you don't, you'll know it. And here's the barometer. Here's what your your gauges in front of you will tell tell you. And it might not be something you see. If you feel that you can't get to the most important things you need to do every day as a business leader or owner because you're getting pulled into the weeds, it tells you your technology isn't working for you. If you find that people are calling you all day and asking you questions that they shouldn't be asking you, your technology is not working for you. If you, if you find that you are working more on the, in the business than on the business, your technology is not working for you. It's not making you the money it should be making you. And there's no shame in making money. Your business is there to, draw, to, to make money. If your business doesn't make money, if it's not profitable, you don't have a business. And if you don't have a business, you can't employ people. And if you can't employ people, you can't help them to put food on their table and to help them with insurance and to, 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 do, you know, to fulfill that responsibility, right? You have a responsibility to make sure your technology is right and to invest in it. And, and those are some of the symptoms you'll notice if you're feeling those things as a business owner or leader, don't blame the people in your company. Look at yourself first, look at your technology and say, is my technology doing what it's supposed to be doing for me? If it is, your revenues will be healthy. If your revenues are dropping, even if you're losing customers, that doesn't mean it's a people problem. It could be a technology problem. That means there's a workflow in your business that's not serving you because you're missing, you're, you're not realizing you should be calling your customers more and communicating especially now in a time where that's the best, most value you can drive to somebody is to be, is to be there for them. Well, if, you're, if your technology isn't somehow telling you to do that, reminding you, you're relying on people to remember, your revenues are gonna drop.